Is there any chance that you were following me on Facebook and saw that I was making some really pretty little strawberry shaped soaps? They were so charming. They were really, really cute. And the plan was to put them on a little square chocolate scented soap that had a little dollop of cream. You know, really soap, but looked like cream. Well, I made a little mistake. You see, I used, um, I think it was a chocolate scented fragrance for the bottom part with the cream looking thing. And that would have been fine for the chocolate square, but the cream part, I assume, got this dark edge on it because most likely there's some kind of vanilla base in the fragrance. And that's wonderful for scent, but it can darken up a soap if you're using, um, you know, white. A unless it was some other reason that it got dark like this, but for whatever reason, they didn't look cute in the end. And so... I had to change them. Well, you won't believe what I have to do. Do you remember these beautiful things? Well, they're not beautiful anymore. Okay, so I'm chopping it into pieces on this chopping board. And it's looking like this. And what I'm gonna do is make chocolate strawberry confetti soap so it won't be wasted and it'll still be pretty cool. It will be important to um, color with the chocolate because what I found out last time is if you do white and you use this fragrance oil, it's going to um, discolor it. At least that's my suspicion that that's what happened. But... So we're just going to go ahead and discolor it on purpose. I made less soap than I usually do for something like this because I previously chopped up um, the strawberry and chocolate soap into little bits and wrote two pounds and six ounces so that I know that, that amount is already accounted for otherwise this would be overflowing. So what we want to do, hopefully that chocolate is mixed in well enough, it looks like I I should have like sifted it with my fingers before I put it in, but that's probably okay. Hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, I don't want to be picking up too much either. I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'm going to put it in the bottom there. And that's the first important thing, is that you get that in the bottom. And then you can put this in um, in a way that you're sure everything got covered nicely because you know you can't just like dump it all in if you're not sure it's, it went in right because you don't want any air pockets is what I'm trying to say. You don't want holes and stuff. You want it to be nice and uh, In fact, confetti, confetti work on. At least that's the hope. Ooh, those are stuck together. Okay, that's too much. Pouring it slowly. Giving it some shakes so that we can make sure filling in all the areas there. I don't want any air pockets. I hope it works out because I really have a lot of already made soap here. I wonder if I really should um, do this with a second batch because there's so much soap here. Good 
can exercise. at the bottom so I have to wipe off the, the knife because it's sort of sticky at the bottom. Maybe I'll turn it like that for now. There they are. I like it. I think it turned out good. I mean, it's a it's a sad story of pretty strawberry soaps that had to be demolished, but the confetti soap that they are is still very pretty. Look, you can see a little bit of green <laughs> from the green in the strawberry, the green, um, you know, the, the leaf part that was in the strawberries originally. <laughs> 